Recently when we were looking at motor acceleration, we were just looking at BL Heli ESCs and uh, what some of the settings were doing with that. Now KISS ESCs have different hardware and they handle things very differently, like uh, they have a, a different method of dealing with timing uh, and they have built-in current limits. So I was curious to throw a KISS ESC side to side with the same BL Heli S. Uh, ESC in the same test program that we ran on the previous one and just see how different the results are. I kept this test with the exact same motor, it's an RCX 1407 3800 KV on uh, 3S. Here is the amp chart for the whole thing. This was an, an unloaded test again and the KSCSE had some trouble uh, keeping sync with that so I imagine that would clean up a lot with a prop on that um, but we still have enough good data that, that we can compare. BL Heli is in red and the KISS is in green and this is the amp draw so we see the same profile uh, that we had before where fast throttle changes require a large spike of power. Uh, the KISS ESC is definitely taking it at the very low ends it's it's pretty close um, but it definitely has a much much reduced peak on the larger throttle changes here on the uh, the largest step up that we did. The KISS ESC is only drawing about 11 amps versus the BL Heli uh, at about 16. So it's only pulling two thirds of the peak amps. The steady state current draw is is, is pretty close, uh, higher on some, lower, lower on others. Uh, we can go in just closer and look at those and you can see uh, here in this particular one, uh, we've got a peak up on, on interestingly enough, both ESCs. Uh, did a very similar thing where they kicked up and then pulled back and then kicked up harder. Uh, in this case, the KISS ESC kicked a lot harder on its first uh, attempt, and then uh, the second little thing there was a, a little lower. Here's another one uh, where the, the KISS ESC is again, it feels like it's, it's pulling itself back. And we have a similar thing where the, uh, the current draw is we're not getting uh, nearly the same peak, um, but it's carrying out and we're getting a little higher draw over a, a, a slightly longer period of time is uh, whatever uh, limiting, whatever is limiting the, um, the peak draw there keeps kicking in. Here's a more normal one on, on both traces and you can really clearly see where the BL Heli ESC kicks up faster and higher. The, uh, the BL Heli peak amp draw happens uh, before the KISS is maybe about 75% of its way through its peak, and that the KISS peak happens a, a lot later and drags ever so slightly longer. Um, but overall, the KISS amp draw is less. The area under this curve is definitely smaller than the area under the uh, BL Heli amp draw. Your question is, is this going to significantly impact the speed of the acceleration just like we saw with, with Drew's damp draw on the BL Heli firmware settings. So if we pop over to the RPM chart, um, you can see here all of the sections uh, where the KISS ESC definitely had huge problems synchronizing. Uh, the RPM is jumping all over the place and it's definitely not a happy camper. Also very interesting, uh, these, this ran the exact same D-Shot program on both ESCs, but the BL Heli ESC idled at a lower RPM than the KISS did. The same uh, throttle command, about mid throttle, uh, the speeds were about the same, and then at full throttle, uh, they also caught up again. But you can see the BL Heli ESC is running marginally faster on the uh, top half of the, uh, the RPM band. The other interesting thing, if we dive in here, uh, I thought that you can definitely see the BL Heli ESC uh, doesn't seem to control the RPM as cleanly as the KISS ESC does. We see this on a lot of these steps where the BL Heli ESC, uh, the RPM uh, graph is wavering around quite a bit more and the KISS is a lot smoother. Time and time again, here you can kind of see a little bit of bounce, uh, what looks like bounce coming off a, a braking zone uh, before it kind of settles and up and down where the, uh, the BL Heli uh, is is pushing the uh, pushing the motor on quite a bit more in that time. But what we're really really interested in is how these actually look, and it's basically what you would expect. Not 
mass a massive difference, but there definitely is. The uh, KISS ESC does not accelerate as fast as the BL Heli ESC does, uh, what we would gather from looking at the, uh, the amp draw charts. Now the peak difference here is still not massive either. Um, right here we're looking at about 10 milliseconds per division, so this is maybe a 6 or 7 millisecond gap. Uh, at its peak and within a hundred milliseconds they've caught up and they're at basically the uh, the same speed in this case the uh, kiss so we're going up to the top the kiss is ever so slightly higher rpm uh, so it crosses over we see that same thing on uh, basically and when we look at here's an instance where the uh, here's the uh, the kiss ESC was hitting that limiter and you can see uh, we ramp up and ramp up and it's going fast and then it pulls back and then it goes fast again and then it pulls back then the smaller throttle changes where we didn't see a very big difference in amp draw, actually the performance is very similar. This is one of the, uh, the smallest uh, steps in a, about a mid-throttle range, and they basically track just about the same throughout the entire, um, the entire, entire throttle move there. Ever so slightly you can see uh, the, the kiss trace just behind the BL Heli one. Um, but that could very well be down to noise and you know we're looking at it the gap here is maybe one millisecond at the absolute most but of course we don't want to forget that acceleration and how the the acceleration timing is only half of that equation and if we look at the braking performance we see a pretty different picture the KISS and the BL Heli in this case are performing a lot closer in braking performance. Uh, here actually the KISS uh, uh, stopping from the high throttle to very low throttle, uh, the KISS is braking actually a little bit faster through most of this range. Uh, it's coming to a, a slightly higher speed there, but the difference between these two is very small compared to the acceleration zone. If we go to the same large throttle move from mid you can see they're tracking almost identically to each other and this repeats in all of the braking zones the kiss and the bl heli performing you know aside from the the slightly different uh, rpm ranges that the the escs uh, choose for each throttle position the braking performance is almost identical so here's a a small throttle step uh again at about mid throttle you can see uh, they're both picking up, responding at the exact same time, and basically reaching the same uh, one, uh, same uh, result coming off that. And if we go over to the acceleration speed graph, so this is this shows the peak acceleration. Uh, you can see that uh, pretty clearly as well. The uh, the charts were basically getting the same um, peak acceleration in all of these small steps the the desyncs uh you know show up very clearly here as well where the acceleration bounces all over the place um, as the throttle changes get larger and larger you know our peak acceleration is quite a bit lower for the very large throttle steps and uh, a little bit lower for the medium throttle steps but if you look at these graphs down in the braking side all of these they're basically right on top of each other so the braking performance is almost identical between the kiss and the bl heli scs and the kiss esc is slightly behind in uh, motor acceleration but we also get a bit of uh, power draw uh, reduction from that as well